one day somebody does something unspeakable to someone else, to someone you hardly knew, man, you do something about it, because you can. This story comes to us from NBC Miami, and I wasn't sure how to give this one to you. I read it a few times. I was just kind of, where do I go with this? But the real question is, is this a mental health issue, a mental illness issue? Is this a drug addiction issue? You know, fentanyl, heroin, methamphetamine, crack, and all these things. Or is this a police excessive use of force issue? I don't know, you know, but should the man have been charged with aggravated assault if he was having an episode on drugs? Wouldn't he be temporarily insane at that point because of the drugs? Wouldn't it be like he'd be out of his mind? I don't know. I'll let you decide. Look, the well-known attorney, Benjamin Crump, for a man who was shot by Miami police officers in March during this year, at a confrontation and a model city home that was caught on camera is demanding that the charges against him be dropped. That's model city, Florida. Donald Leonard Armstrong, who's 47, was shot multiple times by officers during the March 7 incident at his home on Northwest 7th Court and later charged with aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer and resisting an officer without violence. Now, on Tuesday, Armstrong was scheduled to be arraigned, but the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office asked for more time to file, a formal, uh, to file formal charges. Um, now, what gets me is he was charged with aggravated assault on a peace officer, then charged with resisting an officer without violence. So was it resisting without violence, or was it aggravated assault? Now, Armstrong's attorney, Benjamin Crump, held a press conference outside the courtroom where the hearing was supposed to have taken place alongside Armstrong's mother and his co-counsel, Larry Hanfield, to ask for Armstrong's charges to be dropped. Ben Crump was quoted as saying, it's an insult on top of injury, and that's why we are demanding these charges to be dropped. They shoot and paralyze him. And now they charge him with aggravated assault. Crump and his team are asking that the charges, if the charges are not dropped, at least give Armstrong bond. They also want the officer who shot Armstrong to be criminally investigated. They say excessive force, six bullets. Armstrong's mother called 911 asking for officers be, to be sent due to his behavior, explaining he was going through an episode and possibly high on narcotics. Now, when officers respond, I'm just going to paraphrase a little bit. They confronted him, who appeared to be armed with a long, sharp object that later was identified as a screwdriver. The report said Armstrong was on the porch acting bizarre <coughs> and screaming at officers, telling them, shoot him in his heart. The officers told him, drop the object in his hand multiple times. He refused. One officer used an electronic control weapon called a taser. Apparently, he ripped the probes out of himself and still held the screwdriver. So they fired a second taser or fired a taser a second time. He became enraged. That's when he lunges at officers, thrusting the what later is a screwdriver at the officers, and he shot multiple times. And there Ben Crump said six bullets. Um, now, again, the, the video link is, uh, or if you click that link in the description box, the video is there. But during the interaction, police are heard yelling for his mother and others, get away from him. Finally, family members said the object he was holding was a screwdriver. His mother says, I called police to try to get him some help. I need you to pray for him. Pray for him, please, Lord says Denise Armstrong, his mother. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is leading the investigation into the shooting, which is standard practice. And um, the Miami Police Chief Manuel Morales released a statement after the shooting. He said, this incident has been an event 
that impacted our entire community. Transparency and accountability to our community will always remain our goal. He goes on, communication is paramount to our communities and we want to ensure all information we disseminate is accurate. The community needs to hear directly from me, that's Chief Morales, about the situation. We have two parallel investigations going, one by the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, an outside agency that investigates all police-involved shootings, and a second by Miami Police Department. We are already in the process of our internal investigation regarding all actions taken. I pledge to ensure that our department does better in addressing calls involving mental and behavioral issues. I am asking all of us to pray for Mr. Armstrong and his family during this difficult time. And that's according to Chief Manuel Morales. Um, again, this is a tough call, man. What do you do? You know, drugs are rampant. I mean, even here locally, if you go to San Bernardino, California, you see zombies laid out along the side of the road. They almost, it, well, it's tent city. Almost looks like part of Skid Row in Los Angeles. I mean, there's just tents everywhere and zombie people just, you can see them tweaking and everything else and they're on drugs. And what do we do? You know, and then when they have an episode, is there an answer? I, I'm not a professional. I, you know, I'm not a professional uh, drug counselor, I'm not a mental health specialist. I'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist. But as a human being that cares for people, what do we do? What do we do?